Hello and welcome back to Against the Storm. In our last episode, we continued our new town here in the uh, Marshlands for the Merchant Ship Shipwreck update. I always keep screwing these names up. Anyways, we are in a storm. Uh, it is year six. We have hostility four, but everybody's okay. So uh, we're okay. We had to pull all the woodcutters out, of course, but that's fine. Oh, stonecutters are done. Ooh. Is that the only stone we've got? Looks like it. So let's go up there and pick up that stone. So we should have now, hopefully, enough stone to pull some of these. Yes, we can. Let's get uh, two of you in there. Please go. And we have a medium down here. Is that only, only a large one we have? Yeah. We have a medium down here somewhere. There it is. We have two mediums. Uh, do we want trader speed, clay, and fabric? Or do we want clay, eggs, and bricks? How about both? Porque no los dos. All the things. Oops, I forgot to do the shift. There we go. And then go. And we have these two as well, so let's do that. More meat. Nice to meet you. And uh, that should give us uh, more jerky, which means we can probably start making some skewers now. If we have something to skewer, which we don't. So, never mind. Skewer with the meat, that is. Um... Yeah, we can do these. Uh, put one of you in there for right now. I forgot that these take uh, foxes now. This takes foxes now. It's handy. So that mine's pretty good. Uh, again, this one, not entirely sure, but it might look like it's pretty good too. If we wanted a little more mining going on. But right now, with the one with those we have in this one, actually it might be time to do this one. that one. I think what I'm going to do here is stop this plank making at 20 also. Uh, that way they don't make as many because they get the production bonus for it. So they don't make as many. There. Two amber for every six packs of trade goods. We still don't have. I don't think we, we had off, we were offered one, but I don't think we took a pack of trade goods recipe, so I don't know that I want that one. Uh, jerky for pie production. We could do that. We have pie being produced. Urban root for biscuits. Um, did I take that one already? I thought it, yeah, I did. It's right there. We could take it again. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt, but we need to produce those biscuits, which we are finally doing now, because I remembered to turn it on finally. Uh, pie was here. Yeah. We could consider making meat pie instead of herb pie, but for right now, I think it's fine. Um, The forest and the everlasting rain are connected somehow. Gain plus one to stormwater production for every two woodcutters near settlement. Let's do this one because we really need the stormwater production. So, I mean, that'll only, well, no, because that'll only help during the storm when we don't have any woodcutters in our woodcutter camps. So, no, we're not going to do that one. Let's do Sahilda's secret cookbook. Uh, we'll go three of you. Three of you. Missed. Three of you. Yeah, that's a worthless piece of copper right there. Or wor at least worthless enough to be worthless. So we must have had... No, I can't tell now because I upped it, but... Yeah. Well, I can tell, but not easily. Rain mill again. No. Tinctuary. We have all those recipes already. Uh, and at... At least as good of stars. Smithy... There's a pack of trade goods recipe, but do we need it? Coats too. Um, who all wears coats again? Just the humans in this group? No, the beavers will wear coats. Let's do it. Let's do coats. And of course we could use some packs of trade goods then too. Uh, Smithy, and this one is a three by three also. Ah, down here, I guess. Didn't I have a building that I wanted to build? Yes, a tea doctor. Oopsie. Let's go right there with it. And we'll put a path across that. Is it all in? It is all in. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, we needed a couple more beaver houses from my memory. So let's get those going. Um, we're going to need some more people here pretty soon, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's 12. So we need, we need two beaver houses there. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we're good there. So delete these two. And build me two beaver houses and we'll put them here. I want to put beavers in here. Do we have yeah, we're making tools at the carpenter. This one takes uh, also stormwater, so that's not help me any there. Um, do I want to make packs of trade goods? Sure, why not? Do I want 30 of them? Probably not. Take that down. I'll wait till we get some people in here in a moment. And let's look at some of these... Excuse me, some of these trades. 3 plus 120, that's a pretty good deal. Don't have those. Uh, 119 plus 80, that's a pretty good deal too. Um... How much do we need to have 20 amber for this one, this next level? No on that one. That one's okay. We're pretty good, actually. We're not making oil anywhere, so I don't want to take that one. Again, no. That's a really good deal. Holy crap, is that a good deal? Um, we have eight of those. That's iffy, but yeah, let's take a few of these. Uh, four of them? Sure. And then the other one that I said was a good deal was the pie. I can't take that many of them, though, so let's just take three of them. That's fine. We're using the rainwater, we should get there pretty soon. Trapper camp needs to move. Let's see. There's a lot of meat out here, but I don't have a storage out there. We could build one, though. I think we'll just build one. Build this, put this right here, though. And that way they're close still to the main storage. And I can probably do, like, this road here. Maybe that one, but maybe not. Be good if I put the mine out there, though. Uh, let's see. A few of you. That'll get us this, at least. Do we have a brawling... Or a, yeah, training gear recipe? Yes, we do. Um, yeah. That'll work. Ale we're already making. Coats we're already making. Wine we could, we could make. Um, actually, we're already making in that, too. And incense we are making that, too. So, um... Yeah. They both get the plus five to resolve for this. Not that the humans really needed it, but hey, free points, right? Free uh, reputation. That's a decent mine there too. Yeah, and that's actually a good good layout. Wow. What's uh, what's with my uh, weird mining luck today, or in this town? Surprisingly large, like, large clusters of mines. People? Oh, uh, we got this to turn into. Four and three and two is nine. Four and two and three is nine. Okay, well, they're even at least now. Uh, we could get our four tools back there. I think probably less foxes, more of everybody else's is good. So let's do this one. And then let's have a look around again for more caches. I think we got them all, but I have another quick look. And then I think we can probably... Actually, we should probably come out here. See if we see if we can find a, something useful in one of those. Ridden Glades. Although there is this one here, too. Turn that in, too, by the way. Um, I don't know which one we're going to find the... Because uh, we only can harvest one of them right now. Yeah, we can only harvest the meat one. We don't have the large camps for this or that. So th those, those are the three. There they are. Um... Maybe we should work our way out this way. Oh, I have grain, too. Uh, forager camp. We could harvest that. I'll set it up there, and we'll uh, move it out there later. Yeah, why don't we... Come out here. 
this way. And this way. Go get another one, too. Uh, maybe this one over here? Yeah, this one over here. And then take those two out. Push this down. It's not the good one, unfortunately. I love how we have this meat sitting right here in the middle of the road, the crossroad. Uh, maybe I should pick that one up first, then. Let's, let's go ahead and set it to a priority, and then set this one, this one, and this one also to priority. They were already working that one, which is almost gone, so probably didn't really matter, but that's fine, too. And we need housing. Um, here is where I want to put housing in. So let's do, let's see, one fox house. Put it over here. Yeah, put it over here. Give more room for them there. Together, uh, two beaver houses, two human houses. Oh, I can't do that one yet. One, two beaver houses. You know what? Let's mix them in. Mix them in. No segregation today. Mix them in. There. Build, build, build. Foxes are happy now. No, not that. Nope, nope, nope. Wrong button. There we go. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, trade routes. Let's wait 17 seconds so the way I can just turn that one in and pick the other ones. Because I might want three. You never know. You never know. Well, those are in range, too. Okay. We have the dead leviathan. Good. Good guess, Wally. Wildfire. Oh, nice. Large abandoned cache. Copper vein, coal, stone, and, yeah, dead leviathan. All right. Let's start with the wildfire, of course. Uh, 12 tools, 90 drizzle water, or clearance water. We'll take the clearance water, I think. And a... Yeah, that'll work. Uh, which is the catch, or we can do... Oh, we need to do empathy, though. Two of these... Um, Fuel is disappearing at a rate of five atoms every 15 seconds. The problem is, I want to do the empathy one for this, which is kind of sad because 13 artifacts, but then again, we have a bunch of artifacts. I mean, we have six in inventory here, but we have a lot coming. So let's do this so we can get that empathy one taken care of. Go, please. And then here we'll use some stone once we have it to loot this uh, once we have it. One, two, three, go. Uh, let's open these up then. Here, here. Come around. Let's go out here too. Some more stone. Some more coal and uh, copper here. There you are. And these give um, lots of goodies. So we're going to want to come out and harvest those. Collect that, please. Uh, yeah, we did make some packs of crops. So 236 plus 80. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get rid of those. We have four of them. Good, go. And, um... 177 and 120. That's not bad. Two and 120. That's pretty good. And I don't want to do any stone. So let's do one of these two. Just for fun. Okay. For fun. Our next trader arrival is in 212, which will be just barely before the storm. Excellent. And I just need to keep an eye on that stone quantity. So we get to 40. We're using it, though, to make bricks. So that's what you get. Now we're at 39. Our final building choice. Um, I think the temple. Yep. Temple for the bonuses, although this one is um, burn time. Maybe the monastery is better for the minus hostility, even though we won't be able to sell the scrolls. We make, can't even make the scrolls, actually, actually, I don't think. No, we can't even make the scrolls. So, yep, monastery it is. That one's already in a town. That one's already in a town. 
This one can be wherever then. It doesn't even have to be inside the town's range. But I could put it in. Right there. Burn an eight. Let's do another one of these. And I'll put two more foxes in it. We'll get three of them down downtown. Are they big Leviathan once we get some stuff cleared out down here? Uh, let's also get a storage going down here. Let's see. One. One, two, three. Yeah, I think so. There. Yeah, we'll do that. Put a road across here. Come on down. I'm gonna wait just so that I can remind myself when the storm hits. That's not finished yet. Come on, come on, come on. You're burning through my fuel. Come on, work faster. Of course, we're going to win pretty fast here, too. Ah, so through the ancient. Uh, woodcutter's moving faster. Fuel burning longer in the hearth. Could be useful. Uh, builder carry? Nah. 20 pottery for glade opening? Nah. Uh... Lowered hostility by 50 points. Yeah, let's buy that one. Ding! Uh, is there anything I wanted to buy? Making these now, in theory? We have to be selling them. That's probably why they're not there anymore. Um, I think we're making everything, or at least can, in theory, make everything. So I'm kind of... Meh? But on the other hand... I could spend the amber I have, because I don't really need it, and we're going to win pretty soon. So I could just do this, and buy those, and buy these, almost. Because once it's gone, it's gone, right? Once the town's gone, I mean. So we might as well trade and buy the things, and make the people happy. Okay. You almost done? Hmm. At least they're eating the wood and not the uh, coal. Probably have to sacrifice coal. They even have to switch to burning coal. Actually, they might be eating the oil too. They're apparently eating the oil too. Sad. How much did this add, by the way? 156 coal, 58 copper, so. Yeah. We have just now started to use the new stuff. Okay, we can turn these in. And uh, 264 and 80 cents. Yeah, that would be really good. I'd do a couple of those. 138, that one's pretty good too. No stone. No stone. I have one part left, so I don't want to do that. Yeah, let's do a couple of these. We don't have, we don't have that many packs of provisions is that because I'm making out of something we don't really have or I just need to force delivery they're already forced okay all right we have to pull our people again like always beavers are still not happy neither are humans for that matter but going any further down isn't going to... Or taking out any more of the woodcutters isn't going to make a difference. So I'm going to have to sacrifice. Uh, but we've got a while to wait till they're unhappy. Which in that case means that I might as well actually put some of these back in. Because it's not going to... They're not going to fall any faster the further the negative is. So we might as well gather the items we can until they get down to zero and then fix them. I saw some burning going on. Let's get this all so set up over here couple of humans. 
Sure. And what was I just doing? I forgot already. Oh, yes. Trades? No, we did that. No, we didn't do that yet. Can I get this one to go or no? Did you deliver those yet? You did. But I only have six. All right, fine. We'll just do one. Wait. Oh, I don't have that much of those. Okay, never mind. I'm dumb. Uh, then why don't we do a couple of these then, too? Why not? Okay. Uh, this will be done in seconds. And uh, let's also get a couple of folks assigned to this, I think. Yeah. Go. All right, now we're in the negatives, so it's time to pull our beavers or woodcutters back out of the woodcutters camps. And then do the sacrifice of coal. That'll do. Make them all happy again. Unload, please. Just the amber that was all unload there, unfortunately. No? Okay. Where'd they all go? They went back home, I guess. Turn that in, too. There's 15 packs of provisions. I guess I could have used those. No, I couldn't have. Never mind. It was the other thing. Let's get, um... Some people working in here. That way we can sell some incense. And also the minus hostility is really good. Ooh, wait. Minus hostility is really good. That was dumb. There we go. Ooh, nice. Okay. Come on down here. Let's put the rest of this road in. And then let's move. I'm trying to get them to finish this up, but it's fine. Let's move this there, kind of, maybe? Like that? Turn that in, and that'll be a win, so I'm going to wait on it for just a moment. Firekeeper's armor. Nah. Traders have one more cornerstone for sale. Nah. Again, this one. Nah. We're not really producing that much wine, but sure, why not? And uh, if I turn that in, we're going to win, so I'm going to sit on it for a moment. We'll wait for those two to finish. And then um, something else that I was going to do. I want to make sure this is done. Not quite yet. They need to finish unloading. I need to try and keep them not happy. So maybe I should do some consumption control for especially you folks. Or actually, I could just turn everything off. Let's see how sad they'll get with that. I mean, you can see how sad they'll get with that, but... Just to prolong just a little bit longer here. Now let's bring you folks down to... Here. Not that I really need any more trade routes. I'm still waiting on that one. I can't even get them to be unhappy. 0.77 per minute. Nice. Actually, I never started making coats. Oopsie. Couple of you folks. Just turn those in. And we're going to win here very momentarily. Ah, uh, but the, the foxes are getting unhappy again. Which was the intention of denying them access to services. I want my road finished. Okay, that's clear now. Yes, I'm stretching it out. Uh, 
And I think I want to put the other one in. We can put it in right there. These things are so good. Yep, let's move it. Like that, and then they'll just eat away at that. Um, finish my road. There we go. I never come down and harvest these before the end of the game. I kind of don't know why. We don't really need people either, do we? Probably not. And we don't need those either. I guess I'm too nervous to try to do so too early in the game. Yeah, look how sad the foxes have gotten now. Man. We never did use this because we never did get the upgrade to get the nice mushrooms. I hate it when that happens. This is totally unnecessary, by the way, to open up to the ocean. But it's kind of fun, too. I was hoping we would see one of the new, uh, the new Glade event, the Merchant Shipwreck, but who knows if there was even one here. I guess I could have used the Ancient Pact or the Mist Seekers or whatever to find if there was one here and head straight there. Uh, I guess that would have been a good thing to do. Oh, well. Uh, woodcutter. Oh, you're bored. Oh, because I moved you away from these. Yeah. Uh, let's do that road and i think we can probably let the game win now um let's go here to consumption control turn all these back on again and everybody will start shooting up now actually this one should probably be on this side like, like this stone cutter is up is up there done is up there done uh-huh there we go. And then... I'm not going up as fast as I thought they would, though. I mean, the foxes kind of did, but... They're just kind of ticking up one point at a time. I guess that just depends on how soon they come and receive their services from the various places. I guess. They aren't actually making any tea anywhere. Um... And so then that kind of takes yeah there they go now they're gonna go blue so let's uh let's turn this in before that happens so that we can have this win and then let's uh quickly take a screenshot of this uh, maybe the leviathan with all three of our uh camps working it um i like to see the eye it's kind of fun yeah i'll go like that let's see the face okay and let's move on well, we made it about a half an hour anyway. Uh, for this, uh, we uncovered a shattered obelisk where we were unable to use the pause function. We did try one of those before. Um, not That's kind of a meh to me, but if we wanted to, we could do that next time. Um, what did you uncover out here? Dangerous lands. Only danger glades. And then there's a barren lands there. Forsaken God's Temple. Land of Greed. This strange totem causes you to only focus on your wealth. Oh, this is one of the new ones. The crown is worried. Impatience grows 50% quicker, but every ongoing trade route reduces the impatience generation speed by 20%. So, since you can have three simultaneous trade routes, if you have beavers or if you buy the extra trade route, you can actually make impatience grow slower as long as you can keep up the trading. Which is kind of interesting. It's kind of an interesting uh, trade-off. Otherwise, you go a little bit faster if you can keep two of them going. You can, keep, keep it, you can have impatience growing a little bit faster than normal, but not horribly. Um, kind of a, yeah, an interesting trade-off type of thing. I just saw, too, by the way, that um, we are now in second... Oh, we're still in first place. No, we're not. We're in second place by four points. Dang it. All right, uh, let's go in here. We got a deed. Uh, discover 250 glades. That's just an accumulative one. And then our upgrades tree, let's take a look here. We have, um, I don't know where we were at. Probably not parts. Larger storage is okay. Worker carry capacity is good too. Embarkation bonus of provisions, nah. Lower prices could be useful. Um, forager camp, or more last stand. Don't really need either of those at this moment. 
Resources sacrifice the ancient hearth. Cornerstone reroll could be good. The uh, starting resources of fabric is good to have. 20% more embarkation resources. Plantation, nah. Uh, here we have newcomers, we have more goods. And here we have embarkation bonuses. Um, I would say that I'm probably gonna have to do one that's like a step. So probably looking at, I don't know, maybe working my way towards this one again. It's a while to get there, but maybe. Otherwise, this one could be good, having the embarkation bonuses. Or the newcomer goods could be good as well. Uh, let me know your thoughts on which one you think I should take next. Uh, we will return to uh, Against the Storm in, for the next update in a couple of weeks. And uh, we'll see where we want to go out here. I might have sacrificed a little bit by veering off to the side compared to Orange. Um, they're going to go for Land of Greed this time. Maybe I should do the Shattered Obelisk then. I just don't. I just like being able to pause. So we could do that. Uh, we'll have to do Royal Woodlands if we do it in order to get the full spread of seven tiles. Otherwise, we could come out here to another marshland or come out here to another Royal Woodland um, or this way to a marshland too. So, oh, there's a coral forest as well. So let me know your thoughts, where you think I should go. Probably not pulling back toward this orchard, but maybe. Uh, we might be able to get to that orchard though, um, the town following the next one, which could be good as well. Uh, so let me know your thoughts, where you want to go, what upgrade do you think I should take, and uh, anything else, and I will see you again in the next episode. Bye for now.